This was the reason drivers were stressing out in the Sumner. WBZ cameras were recording when the stuck truck finally came out of the tunnel. The damage, of course, had already been done. All the cars behind the truck were trapped inside the Sumner for hours. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Chris Tanaka. WBZ's Mike Sullivan actually spoke to some drivers who had no choice but to wait it out. Well, traffic reopened shortly after 7 o'clock. Before that, a sight you never, ever see in the Sumner Tunnel. Not a single car coming across here. Now, once it did reopen, that semi-truck was stopped here on the side. The drivers that came by made sure to give a little honk to let them know how they felt about the whole situation. Traffic in Boston, they go hand in hand, except tonight was different and drivers knew it. 15, 20 minutes went by and we're still stopped. <laughs> so this is something a little more, you know, than just a typical accident going on. Larry Curtis is an Uber driver stuck in the Sumner Tunnel this evening. You could see up at the mouth of the tunnel on the exit end, got some blue lights that were, you know, uh, bouncing off the ceiling. State police tell us a semi-truck struck the ceiling of the tunnel, getting stuck and halting traffic. Next thing you know, there's people getting out of their vehicles. Trying to figure out what happened. I could see the tractor trailer truck was actually almost centered in between the two lanes, which was preventing that left lane traffic from getting by altogether. Here is where it really gets interesting. I saw two or three other people with their luggage walking up the center lane <laughs> to exit the tunnel. And I'm like, where the think they're going, <laughs> you know? They were Uber passengers walking out on their drivers. Larry's passenger actually stuck around. They had a good conversation. It normally should have been probably a, a $10 trip, you know, quickly through the tunnel out of North Station. Uh, and this one ended up like 25, 26 bucks. A row of cars began backing out in a single file line. Adam Conbaubi was one of them. He grabbed the video you have been seeing. I'm trying to go to TV Garden because there's a Celtics game. He and his family had no clue if they would even make it by halftime. Eventually, a tow truck ushered the semi out of the tunnel. State police say the driver is a 36-year-old man from Ontario. We asked if he struck the ceiling. The driver says he didn't. He was able to drive away shortly before 7. Massachusetts State Police say that that driver was given a citation, and they expect MassDOT to go through the tunnel to inspect to see if there's any damage to the structure. In the North End, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Now, ironically, the Sumner Tunnel usually closed on the weekends because of a big construction project, but Mass Thought was keeping it open this weekend because of the holiday.